Welcome everyone to the first Indiana Robotics Award Show presented by Army ROTC. We are so excited to welcome you all here to recognize the hard work from all of our programs this past year. I will be your master of ceremonies this evening and I'd like to start off by introducing to you the president of First Indiana Robotics, Renee Becker-Blau. Thanks, Chris. Two years ago, First Indiana Robotics rebranded. We determined our mission and vision aligned with First Inspires, but we wanted to ensure that our purpose statement reflected the unique aspects of our Indiana community. Like our future is built better together and improving the world starts with our youth. We also identified six main points that make the FIRST program unique. These include mentorship partnered with hands-on learning. So the professional experiences uh, that you're able to get because you work with people who are in these careers that you might want to be in in the future. And you receive those hands-on learning uh, opportunities that you may not have had. Then there's the problem solving connected to community engagement. The expansion of the Global Innovation Award is an example of how we've taken the FRC and FTC programs and joined the First Legal League program to start prioritizing becoming innovators and problem solving in our local communities. Finally, one of my favorite parts about the program are the core values applied in, in times of intense competition. And while those looked a little bit different this year, this is about more than robots. First Indiana Robotics is a com robotics community that prepares young people for life. And that hasn't changed because of COVID. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Paul Heslin from the Army ROTC. Good evening, my name is Paul Heslin and I'm the recruiting officer for Purdue Reserve Officer Training Corps. It is my distinct pleasure to address you during this award show. In my role with Army RTC, I have become familiar with programs such as FIRST Robotics. And the more I learn, the more I realize that there is a tremendous connection between the leadership skills that are developed within FIRST and those that are developed within Army RTC. Additionally, in order to be successful in either program, you have to be a reliable teammate who follows and believes in the core values of each organization. With that in mind, I would briefly like to just explore those connections. As you all know, your first core value is discovery. First students gain new STEM skills and soft skills through the program from coding to CAD and from communication to time management. The Army ROTC cadets gain communication and problem solving skills through hands-on experiences in developing their basic social skills, such as map reading and land navigation. The next core value is innovation, where students brainstorm new ideas and designs and persist in iterations to make their designs even better. The Army ROTC cadets innovate by learning from everything they do and observe, evaluating what went right and what went wrong, and then implementing changes to improve whatever task it is they are executing. The next value is impact whereby first teams are finding problems within their community and work to create inventions to solve those problems. The Army ROTC cadets make an impact within their community by working with veteran organizations, helping to hand out goods and services to homeless veterans, or by simply recognizing and thanking the veterans in our community during numerous events. Inclusion is an important value these days. First, students respect each other and embrace their differences. The Army ROTC cadets respect each other as well as the greater community. They also embrace their differences because everyone has different skills that can help to accomplish the mission. Teamwork is a critical core value that you must embrace because you've learned that you are a stronger team when you work together. The Army ROTC cadets also embrace this value understanding that if you don't work together, the job will be much harder and that no one individual can succeed on their own. You succeed or fail as a team. The final core value is fun. First students find joy in the building and competition process and celebrate the achievements of the teams and individuals. 
Army ROTC cadets also have fun conducting tough and engaging training, developing long lasting friendships through a variety of experiences such as field tactical training and airborne school. As you can see, there are many similarities between the two programs and your experience as a first student could go a long way in helping you be a successful Army ROTC cadet. With that said, I wanna congratulate all the students on your achievements over this most challenging of years. You have displayed tremendous resilience and perseverance in continuing your participation in your program. The leadership skills you've displayed as high school students is admirable and proves that you have what it takes to be a successful Army ROTC cadet. I wish the best of luck to all of the teams tonight. Congratulations on your achievements, and I look forward to seeing you at a first event in person in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. And now I'll hand it off to Blair to talk a little bit about some of our global supporters. Every year, FIRST and you benefit from the support of hundreds of generous sponsors, suppliers, scholarship providers, and alliances. We deeply appreciate their commitment and dedication and are especially grateful during this challenging season. A big thanks to everyone who makes FIRST, FIRST. to thank Toyota Motor Manufacturing of Indiana for your generous support of the first LEGO League, first Tech Challenge, and first Robotics Competition teams in the Southwest region. Thank you, Andy Mark, for being our transportation and logistics supporter. This season, we had a number of organizations in Indiana that provided team support grants to ensure the sustainability of our programs. Special thanks to Rolls-Royce, Cortiva AgriScience, the Arconic Foundation, and the First Indiana Robotics Southeastern Team Support Grant. And finally, the season would not have been possible without the additional support from 8020 Inc., Innovate Within, FCA, and the Indiana IoT Labs. Thank you for your support of the First Indiana Robotics community. And Chris, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Renee, and to our sponsors for everything that has been done to make this year possible. This award show celebrates all of our Indiana teams across all FIRST programs. Join us as we recognize the accomplishments of our FIRST LEGO League teams, salute our graduating seniors, celebrate the FIRST Tech Challenge teams advancing to state, and announce our FIRST Robotics Competition Award winners, and of course, celebrate the FinFam community and style. We had a first LEGO League Explore Festival, six first LEGO League Challenge qualifiers, and two season championships. We had three First Tech Challenge League tournaments with the state championship coming this weekend. Make sure to check it out on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash first in robotics. Finally, we had three different challenges that our FRC teams competed in along with our traditionally submitted awards. 
At this time, we would also like to extend a special thank you to all of the volunteers who worked hard throughout the pandemic this year to make our events a success. We would now like to recognize the first LEGO League Explore teams that participated in our first Indiana Robotics FLO Remote Festival and the awards they received. The Team Model Award went to FLO Explore Team 12124, the Blockbusters from New Paris Elementary School. The Team Poster Award went to FLO Explore Team 8419, Lego Builders from Millersburg Elementary School. The Challenge Solution Award went to FLL Explore Team 2730, Boss Builders from Millersburg Elementary School. And the Core Values Award went to FLL Explore Team 8256, McJam from New Paris Elementary School. And now we would like to recognize the FLL Explore Volunteer of the Year. This award is presented to an individual, business, or organization that consistently excels in their efforts with proven results in the areas of impact, leadership, personal commitment, community, and historical contributions. Our 2021 First Lego League Explore Volunteer of the Year is a passionate first alumna. After high school, they went on to attend Indiana University in Bloomington and volunteer at first events like the IU First Forums or with her team back in Indianapolis. In 2020, this volunteer was prepared to help Finn run an FLO Explore Festival at Perry Meridian High School until the season was shut down. She was excited to volunteer this spring for our remote FLO Explore Festival. Please join us in congratulating our 2021 First Lego League Explore Volunteer of the Year, Katie Boyce. Now we will acknowledge the season award winners for the first LEGO League Challenge. I would like to introduce Devin Langley for these award acknowledgements. Devin has been a longtime member of the Finn community, contributing across all program levels and working closely with the Finn staff throughout this year. Thank you, Chris. I'm super excited to be here to celebrate our wonderful Finn teams. We would like to start by recognizing our Global Innovation Award finalists. FLL team 24984 CKS, who modified the video game Minecraft so that rewards were given to participants for exercising using an iPhone app that had been created by the team. And FLL team 24976, Unshakable, who designed an exoskeleton for Parkinson's patients that relies on the waist as a stable connection point to reduce tremors in the arm. We are proud that these teams are our Global Innovation Award Indiana finalists this season. Our official nominee from Indiana was team FLL 44949, the Robo Tillers, who created an active version of Monopoly where their town square was converted into a Monopoly board and players could download an app to scan QR codes placed in various building locations. Players, players received rewards for walking to find the QR codes and engaging in the designated activity at the location. The Robotillers have gone on to compete against teams from around the world to advance to the semifinals level of competition. The Motivate Award celebrates a team that embraces the culture of First Lego League through team building, team spirit, and displayed enthusiasm. Our season one winner of the Motivate Award was team 4882, the Rock Slots. And our season two winner of the Motivate Award was Team 47363, the Chompers. Next, the Core Values Award is given to teams that display extraordinary enthusiasm and spirit. They know that they can accomplish more together than they could as individuals, and they show each other and other teams respect at all times. Our season one winner of the Core Values Award was FLL Team 44868, CPR. And our season two winner was team 24735, The Game Givers. The Innovative Project Award is given to teams that utilize diverse resources for their innovation project to help them gain a comprehensive understanding of their problem, have a creative, well-researched solution, and effectively communicate their finding to judges and the community. The Innovative Project Award winner for season one was team 48803, RDP Green. The winner for the season two Innovative Project Award was team 
five, four, six, the Fab Five. Next, the Robot Design Award is given to teams that use outstanding programming principles and solid engineering practices to develop a robot that is mechanically sound, durable, efficient, and highly capable of performing challenge missions. Our season one winner of the Robot Design Award was FLL Team 10869, the Thunderbots. Our Robot Design Award winner for season two was Team 31053, RoboForce. The Robot Performance Award celebrates a team that scores the most points during the robot game. Teams have a chance to compete in at least three two and a half minute matches and their highest score counts. Our highest score and the Robot Performance Award winner from season one was team 31195, the Olympus Heroes. For season two, the Robot Performance Award winner was team 7320, Datacam. The Champions Award celebrates a team that embodies the first LEGO League Challenge experience by fully embracing our core values while achieving excellence and innovation in robot performance, robot design, and the innovation project. Our season one Champions Award winner was FLL21499, part 25994. Our season two Champions Award winner was FLL7320, Datacam. Congratulations team. We would also like to recognize the winners of the Outstanding Championship Volunteer Award. Without volunteers, FIRST would not be able to exist. And the individuals that this award recognizes are volunteers who had a significant and positive impact on the events, teams, and other volunteers. For season one, we would like to recognize Mike Dobbs and Chris Dows. And for season two, we would like to recognize the contributions of Andrea Puckabaum and Shane Pickett. Thank you for your long-term support of the First Leg Relief Program. And now we would like to recognize the high school seniors who are graduating from the first programs of First Tech Challenge and First Robotics Competition. I would like to introduce the president of the First Indiana Robotics Student Board of Directors, Sam Santi. Hi, Sam. Thank you, Devin, for that awesome introduction. Like she said, my name is Sam Zanti. I am president of the First Indiana Student Board of Directors, and I'm a member of Team 3176 Purple Precision. Throughout this year, COVID has been filled with so many complications and trials, but the driving force behind Finn and our successes has definitely been our senior class. They have had the determination and resiliency to push through this year and make it one of the best that Finn has ever had. And we are so grateful for all that they've done to help ensure that we have had a fantastic year. So because of this, please join us in celebrating many of our 2021 First Indiana Seniors in our senior celebration.
We would now like to announce the first Tech Challenge teams that will be advancing to the state championship later this week. Again, you can catch it on our Twitch channel. To do that, I'd like to introduce Danny Blau for announcing the first set of teams advancing to the state championship. Thanks, Chris. My name is Danny, and I'm so excited to be with all of you here tonight. I am an alumni and a mentor for the FIRST program, and I am so excited. But you didn't come here to listen to me yammer on and on, so let's get right to it. The teams that are advancing to the Indiana State Championship are, and in no particular order, Team 3537, the Mecca Hamsters, Finalist Alliance Captain, and Collins Aerospace Innovate Award winner. Congratulations to Team 8149, Red Alert, Panic in the Build Room. The Connect Award winner. Put your hands together for the Control Award sponsored by Arm Inc. Juninkai Robotics FTC 8578. From Indy South, FTC 8197 Green Machine, who received the third place Inspire Award, second place Connect Award, and were the first team selected to the finalist alliance. Put your hands together for 9864 Jugrox Robotics, Inspire Award second place, and winning alliance, first team selected. Advancing from the Indy South League is FTC 11329 ICE Robotics, who won the Inspire Award as well as the captain of the winning alliance. Give it up for FTC 11959 Colonel Panic, the Think Award. Advancing from the Metro League Tournament, FTC 8711, the Gas Attendants, winners of the Connect Award. From the Metro League, FTC 12014, the Firewires, who won the Design Award. From the Metro League Tournament, FTC 12091, Bermuda Boss, who won the Collins Aerospace Innovator Award. Advancing from the Metro League, FTC 12835, Pixelated, Captains of the Winning Alliance and the Inspire Award winners. Give it up for 13401 Roboducks, their Think Award, second place. Advancing from the Metro League, FTC 14596, Accelerate, Captains of the Finalist Alliance, second place Inspire Award winners, and winners of the Control Award sponsored by Army. FTC 16501, Squirrel! Winners of the Think Award and first team selected to the finalist alliance. From the Metro League, Team 18174, Machines, winner of the Motivate Award. Give it up for Team 18281, Caution. They were the first team selected on the winning alliance and took third place in the Inspire Award. Advancing from the Metro League Tournament, FTC 18695, the second Tech Challenge, who took second place in the Motivate Award. And now it is my grand honor to introduce Bethany Loniker to continue announcing the advancing teams to the state tournament, as well as our 2021 FTC Dean's List semifinalists. Thanks, Danny. Like you said, my name is Bethany Loniker, and I'm a senior at Purdue University this year. I'm also a proud Indiana FTC alumnus and also a volunteer. I'll actually be emceeing this weekend at the state championship, and I'm so excited to see all of these teams there in person in Crawfordsville. I'm here to continue where Denny left off to present to you the seven teams that will be advancing to the FTC Indiana State Championship from the North Central League. Please join me in congratulating all of these teams. First, we'll start out with Team 535, Tobor, who won the Inspire Award and placed second for the Think Award. Next, FTC 4366, Westside Gold, who are the winners of the Collins Aerospace Innovate Award. Moving on with them is Team 6518, Westside Black, captain of the Winning Alliance and winner of the Control Award, sponsored by Arm Incorporated. Next, we have Team 11272, Genesis, captain of the Finalist Alliance, third place winners of the Inspire Award, and second place winners of the Collins Aerospace Innovate Award. Moving on next is Team 12043, Power Surge. They took second place in the Inspire Award, 
They were the first team selected for the finalist alliance, and they were second place winners for the Control Award, sponsored by Arm Incorporated. Also moving on is Team 12770, Need More Zip Ties, who was the first team selected on the winning alliance and the winner of the Think Award. Our final team advancing from the North Central League Tournament is FTC 14400, Space Cadets, who won the Connect Award. Congratulations to all of the teams that will be competing at the first Indiana Robotics State Championship this weekend. I'm so excited to see all of you there. Now, I have the pleasure of announcing the 10 First Tech Challenge Dean's List semifinalists. This season, Indiana will be advancing three FTC Dean's List finalists to be considered at the championship level. The 2021 FTC Dean's List finalists will be announced at the state championship this upcoming weekend. The students who earn first Dean's List award status as semifinalists, finalists, or winners are examples of student leaders who have increased awareness for the first program in their communities. These students also have achieved personal technical expertise and accomplishment and will continue on post-award as fantastic leaders. Please join me in congratulating our 10 semifinalists for the FTC Indiana State Dean's List Award. Evan Nayi from 16501 Squirrel. From FTC 11329 Ice Robotics, Hazel Roeder. Jillian Adams from 12091 Bermuda Bots. Joshua Dominiak from FTC 12835, Pixelated. From FTC 12091, Bermuda Bots, Kotaro Suji. Nathan Satchel from FTC 11272, Genesis. Quinn McDaniel from FTC 12014, The Firewires. Also from The Firewires, Randall De La Fuente. Riken Hartwick from FTC 11272, Genesis. And finally, from FTC 11329, Ice Robotics, William to Garden. Congratulations to all of our semifinalists, and stay tuned for the FTC State Championship this weekend, where our three finalists will be awarded. Many smart people are predicting that future careers and jobs will rapidly and continuously change. In my career, for example, most of the analytical methods used for engineering analysis have dramatically changed. Artificial intelligence is suddenly becoming a very powerful tool. It's even on the verge of becoming a tool designing tool. What happens when big data and AI become potential tool makers? What happens when natural language is applied to solid modeling and stress analysis? You might soon be able to say to your screen, design a bracket to hold this wheel, keep the deflection to less than one millimeter as the robot collides with a stiff wall at full speed. That time is near. So what will a STEM trained person do? What will we offer to society so society will love us? It's not likely to be commonly applied at technical analysis. However, uniquely human things like recognizing needs, being creative, acting on empathy, demonstrating leadership, designing beautiful things, those uniquely human characteristics will be even more valuable. So those who understand the universe and understand themselves and society will be in a very powerful and satisfied position. That's good stuff. This year, we held our first ever pitch competition, sponsored by Innovate Within. Finn was excited to introduce another opportunity for our first teams to show off their entrepreneurial spirit. Teams provided a one-page executive summary and a short video with their innovation, then did a four to five minute pitch in front of a Shark Tank style panel of judges. Our third place team was FRC 4926 Galactech with their project, Milo. Here's what the judges had to say about their project. 
Black Tech took a problem that was relevant to both themselves and many athletes around the world and created the designs for an autonomous robot to solve their problem. Created for the pandemic, this team's solution was well-defined and had very practical applications to ensure users stay active and exercising with an impact reaching beyond COVID. Congratulations, Galactech, on your project, Milo. Our second place team in the pitch competition was FLL Challenge Team 44949 Robotillers with their project, Limestoneopoly. Here's what the judges had to say about their project. This team has a cradle-to-market project that has a lot of opportunities to grow and be adopted within many different kinds of communities. This project is creative, and the agile development and project iteration was impressive. Limestoneopoly is a fun and interactive project to mix exercise and saving money along with engaging with the local community. Congratulations, Robotillers, on Limestoneopoly. And finally, our first place team in the pitch competition was FTC 14400, the Space Cadets, with their project Station Zero. Here is what the judges had to say about Station Zero. The pitch from the Space Cadets was fantastic, and Station Zero is a well-defined solution to match a dangerous and prevalent problem. This team has made real-world progress with their strong direction and organization, connecting with firefighters and business both locally and on the other side of the planet. Their product is only a few small steps from production and hitting the market. Congratulations, Space Cadets, on your work for Station Zero. And at this time, we'd also like to thank our panel of judges for helping us out today with this pitch competition. And now I would like to introduce the vice chairman of the first Indiana Robotics Board of Directors, Logan Byers. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I am Logan Byers. I am the vice chairman for first Indiana Robotics. I am an alumni of Team 461 Westside Boiler Invasion from West Lafayette, Indiana. Um, and I have been involved uh, since 2003 um, as a mentor and then as a volunteer. So you've seen me as a referee and head referee for FRC and FTC events uh, throughout the state. So for this year, we have the alumni group of the year. With the expansion of our first alumni groups in the state of Indiana, we wanted to recognize the hard work and accomplishments of our first alumni. This season, First Indiana Robotics has created the Alumni Group of the Year Award for an Indiana-based first alumni organization who has supported the mission of First Indiana Robotics. This annual award will recognize an organization's volunteer engagement from across FIRST programs, their strong partnership between their student group and their university, and celebrates the on-campus community they've built for collegiate FIRST alumni. For their transition to the virtual fall events, the support they provided for the Finn Friends with Robots broadcast, the high quality on-campus community environment, and for their high quality communication skills from their president, please give a round of applause to the Purdue First program. First Indiana Robotics would also like to recognize exceptional collegiate FIRST alumni who have gone above and beyond in their support of the FinFam community. Their high level engagement and focus on impact will ensure that they will leave behind a lasting legacy as either their alma mater in the Indiana community or with their support for Fin. For taking charge of creating a new FIRST alumni organization at IUPUI in the middle of a pandemic, please join me in congratulating Annika Rosemary. President, first alumni and mentors at IUPUI. For their significant work in supporting First Indiana Robotics as a Finian this season and ensuring the success of our industry roundtable series, congratulations to Lucy Baker, a Purdue First program student. And for our final alumni, please join me in congratulating Sid Rath, president of First Alumni and Mentors at Indiana University for his exceptional work with the Luddy School of Informatics and Computing as a first alumnus and ambassador. And now I'd like to invite Mary Reinhardt, chairman of First Indiana Board of Directors to announce the next few awards. Thanks, Logan. 
I've been thrilled to serve as the chairman of the first Indiana Board of Directors this year and have previously served as the president and secretary of the board. I'm an alumni of Team 71, former volunteer with Purdue First, and former coach of FRC Team 1018. During the day, I'm the president and CEO of First Makerspace here in Indianapolis. The Barrier Breaker Award celebrates an individual or organization that bridges gaps between first programs. Volunteering beyond the borders of a single program, they are a constant advocate of FIRST and increasing student access across Indiana. The winner of the 2021 Barrier Breaker Award is, a, is passionately dedicated to FIRST. They effortlessly blend the borders between FIRST programs, serving as a volunteer, advocate, and STEM champion. Her support of FIRST Indiana Robotics and advocacy for all Indiana students to have access to the FIRST program is inspiring, and she serves as a role model for FIRST alumni. Please join me in congratulating Devin Langley, Finian with FIRST Indiana Robotics, for building bridges between FIRST programs as a student, cross-program volunteer, and advocate for STEM education. The FIRST Indiana Robotics Foundation Award is given to an individual or group that has been instrumental in shaping the direction of our organization. Their support has provided Finn the foundation needed to fulfill our mission and bring FIRST to more students in Indiana. Without these people, FIRST Indiana Robotics would not be the organization we are today. Previous groups and individuals who have become part of the FIRST Indiana Robotics Foundation Award Hall of Fame include 2017 Jason Zoki. 2018, the St. Joseph District Planning Committee, 2019, Lori Hall, and 2020, Chelsea Bowen. As a former tournament director, she has enabled dozens of individuals to inspire others in the true nature of the FIRST program. For the 2021 season, here's what the leaders of Finn had to say about this deserving individual. She has a long-term commitment to the FIRST LEGO League program, and we would not be here without the support that she's provided. Please join me in congratulating Carol Doskal, the Director of Outreach for the Purdue Fort Wayne College of Engineering, Technology, and Computer Science. The first Indiana Robotics President's Award celebrates an organization who shares the belief that our future is built better together. This award was created in 2017 as a way to recognize an organization who has provided overwhelming support to the first Indiana robotics community. The organizations who have received this award in the past are pillars of our local robotics community and help first Indiana robotics prepare young people for life. Since 2017, on an annual basis, the first Indiana robotics board of directors and staff come, to come together to select an organization that meets this criteria. Previous organizations that have become part of the first Indiana Robotics President's Award Hall of Fame include Andy Mark in 2017, Rolls Royce in 2018, Toyota in 2019, and the University of Indianapolis in 2020. For the 2021 season, here's what the leaders of Finn had to say about this deserving organization. This organization has supported FIRST Indiana Robotics since 2015 by ensuring the success of the FIRST Indiana Robotics Rookie Robot Quick Build. Besides being a long-term FRC supporter, this local company has expanded with them by providing cross-program support each time a new program came under the FIN umbrella. This past year, the organization provided a significant team support donation that allowed FIN to provide sustainability grants, to our first teams across the region, ensuring the growth of the FRC program and sustainability of the FTC program. Please join us in congratulating Cortiva AgriScience. Now, for our final part of the First Indiana Robotics Award Show, where we will announce the accomplishments and awards that Indiana FRC teams won this season. To help us open this show, I'd like to hand it over to Frank Merrick. 
first robotics competition director. Hello, first robotics competition teams. My name is Frank Merrick. I'm the director of FRC, and welcome to your awards show. What a crazy season 2021 was, and I, for one, am, fingers crossed, hoping we can get together again in person for official events in 2022. But in the meantime, congratulations to all the award winners and everyone who participated this year. Have a great show. Thanks, Frank. All of the awards announced here today have been earned by our Indiana FRC teams. To see more information about the awards won by teams from around the globe in each of the various judged award groups, please refer to firstinspires.org. And now I'd like to introduce Corey Bounds. Thank you, Chris. And Ryan Campus, our special guests that will be announcing the FRC awards. The Game Design Challenge is an opportunity for teams to design a first robotics competition game and compete against other teams for a chance to pitch their game to the first robotics competition game design team. Winning games or their elements may inspire or be used as a future official first robotics competition game. The Creativity Award, sponsored by Rockwell Automation, celebrates creativity that enhances the overall game design concept. A team must be able to competently describe the creative or unique features that are highly original in concept and its uniqueness has a practical application and contributes to the objectives of the competition. Hi, I'm Jamie Al Mosley, first alum and current mentor and now engineering intern at Rock Automation. I'm working on 3D modeling, metal fabrication, as well as var managing various die cast operations. Congratulations on your accomplishments during this unique season. I'd like to give a shout out to the Creativity Award winners who exemplify the spirit of FIRST programs using science and technology, but using critical thinking and problem solving skills for the win. Here is what the judges had to say about the winner of this award. Creativity was at the helm of this team's game design. Even with multiple gameplay ideas never before seen, their concepts were anchored in reality and could easily become inspiration for a future challenge. This team definitely had the code to unlock the bonus chest. From the Neon Group, congratulations to Team 3936 RoboBlitz from Michigan City. The Engineering Design Award celebrates the team that demonstrates sound engineering in the design process. A team must be able to describe the engineering process they went through, how the field integrates with robot actions, the designs reflect thoughtful engineering and have the potential to become a reality, and finally, the entire design reflects a systematic approach, meaning the individual field components are designed to function together. We had three Indiana teams win this award, and here's what the judges had to say about the first team. This engineering design winner looked to link alliances together. While combining the chaos of two games at once, they found it critical to keep everyone's sight lines open. From the Carbon Group, congratulations to Team 1646 Precision Guest Works from Lafayette, Indiana, and their game Critical Chaos. Here is what our judges had to say about our second engineering design award winner. All components for this team integrated seamlessly for this unique logistical challenge. It was a rush to get everything where it needed to go, but watch out for breakdowns. Multiple robots had us going on green and stopping for red, but let it be said that this team had outstanding design success. From the Rhodium Group, congratulations to Team 3865, Riley Wildbox from South Bend, Indiana. Here is what our judges had to say about our final engineering design award winner. The majesty of the pyramids has captured the interest of many, but this team dug deep to unearth the history of Egypt. They did not hurry the design process as they considered the referees field reset and audience in their field design. You are in denial if you think you wouldn't want to play this game. From the Nitrogen Group, congratulations to Team 6956 Shamrock Botics from Westfield, Indiana. 
the Imagery Award in honor of Jack Kamen, Dean's father, for his dedication to art and illustration and his devotion to FIRST. This award celebrates attractiveness in visual aesthetic integration. All components are integrated seamlessly and visuals are original and exceptional. The creative content is supportive of the FIRST core values. A team must be able to explain how their created content connects to their game and all forms of creative content are encouraged, including but not limited to storylines, animations, field artwork, teasers, branding, vocabulary implementation, swag, medallions, trophies, etc. Here is what the judges had to say about the winner of this award. This team took raising pumpkins to a new level. This excellent farm themed entry using barns, silos, and scarecrows also had some well placed puns. Be careful where you step because in a place called Kokomo, Indiana, we are doing some barnstorming. From the Molybdenum Group, congratulations to the winner of the Imagery Award, Team 45, the Technocats from Kokomo, Indiana, for their game Barnstorming. The Concept Award celebrates a team that creates an interesting, realistic game concept. The team must use the game design challenge element, a chain, in their concept, and the concept exemplifies the first core values. The team must be able to explain the depth of strategy for all types of robots with a wide variety of capabilities. We want to make sure there is no single solution for gameplay, what makes their game unique and why their design was chosen, and finally, how they decided to use the element. Indiana had two winners for the concept award. Here is what the judges had to say about the first winner. These revolutionary thinkers are sure to spark a reaction. They broke down their chain to its molecular composition. Using expert temperature control, they brought the competition to a boil. From the Selenium Group, congratulations to Team 461 Westside Boiler Invasion from Lafayette, Indiana. Here is what the judges had to say about our second concept award winner. This team wowed the judges with their concept they pushed forward. They were passionate and excited about every bit of their game, from their unique incorporation of the element to their designs of specific mechanisms on the field. This team sure had a mess to clean up, but they made sure they had an open or closed door to success. From the Zinc Group, congratulations to Team 1501, Team Thrust from Huntington, Indiana. Infinite Recharge at Home brings events to teams in two ways. Through judged awards, where teams describe their robots' technical qualities by sharing information with judges remotely to compete for traditional machine awards, and in the skills competition where teams demonstrate what their robots and drivers can do in a skills competition inspired by the Infinite Recharge game. The Industrial Design Award, sponsored by General Motors, celebrates the team that demonstrates industrial design principles, striking a balance between form, function, and aesthetics. A team must be able to describe how their robot is elegant, efficient, and practical. The entire machine design or the detailed process used to develop the design is worthy of this recognition and not just a single component. And the robot distinguishes itself from others by its aesthetic and functional design. Indiana has two Industrial Design Award winners. Here is what the judges had to say about this first award winner. The judges had a hard time taking their eyes off this perfectly integrated robot, and the team's detailed design process was just as elegant from tip to tail. Overall, this team really sinks their teeth into balancing form and function in efficient machines and processes. From the Arsenic Group, congratulations to Team 3940 Cybertooth from Kokomo, Indiana. Here is what the judges had to say about the second Industrial Design Award winner. Great industrial design blends form, function, and aesthetics into a unified whole, and this team did not disappoint. Combining Midwestern sensibility with cutting-edge design, this is a robot that can bring the red and blue alliances together. Indeed, the Industrial Design winner has brought a much-needed splash of color to the dark side. From the Silver Group, congratulations to Team 7457 Super Duper Robotics from Indianapolis, Indiana.
Congratulations, first robotics industrial design award winner from General Motors. The Excellence in Engineering Award celebrates the team that demonstrates a professional approach to the design process. A team must be able to describe the engineering process they went through and can trace components from conception. The designs reflect an engineering solution to a specific problem, and it is functional, practical, elegant, and advantageous. Here is what the judges had to say about this winner. This team's build, test, iterate design process allowed them to fail fast, learn, and correct course during a tight build window. The chassis design provided an engineering solution that initially surprised the judges, but their design process demonstrated benefits over other drivetrains. Their touch it, own it intake methodology is also super effective on awards. From the Vanadium Group, congratulations to Team 234 Cyber Blue from Indianapolis, Indiana. The Rookie Game Changer Award celebrates a rookie team's outstanding success this season. The rookie team must be able to describe their approach to their design process, has built a robot appropriate to the game's challenges, and exemplifies the first core values. Indiana had two Rookie Game Changer Award winners, and here is what the judges had to say about the first. After competing last year, this rookie team learned great lessons which they turned into a new robot for the 2021 season. This team 3D printed their way to the top and designed a unique machine with the help of their engineering notebooks. From the Cesium Group, congratulations to Team 8103 East Noble High School from Kendallville, Indiana. Here's what the judges had to say about our second Rookie Game Changer Award winner. This group of rookies took their aim at the 2021 challenges. With a modular shooter and custom drivetrain, nothing could stop this team and their robot skills. Whether they needed three or four wheels to get their strategy right, you won't miss this gang in their signature pink and black. From the Chlorine Group, congratulations to Team 8232 Girl Gang from Lafayette, Indiana. The Skills Competition winner celebrates a team's outstanding success with the Skills Competition. The winner of this award will have the most points in their group. From the Arsenic Group, congratulations to Team 3940 Cyberteeth from Kokomo, Indiana. the first innovation challenge presented by Qualcomm, students in FIRST Robotics competition will explore what it means to be an innovator and find solutions to society's greatest challenges that impact the world for generations to come. Through the first Game Changers themed challenge, participating teams, 
identified a problem or opportunity to help people or a community of people keep, regain, or achieve optimum physical and or mental health and fitness through active play or movement. Designed a solution to seize the opportunity or solve the problem. Actualized their innovation by creating a business model and developing a business pitch and advance their skills by using technology in their solution development process and or design. First, Innovation Challenge semifinalists are teams that achieve excellence across all required criteria within a group. Hey, first teams, Natalie Ducey here from Qualcomm. As this year's season presenting sponsor of the first Innovation Challenge, I just want to take a moment to congratulate all of our semifinalist teams. I hope everybody that participated in the Innovation Challenge this season really got a flavor of what innovation is all about. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the projects and the real world solutions that teams came up with this year. Congratulations to everyone again, and we'll see you at GIA. Here's what the judges said about our first semifinalist. This team built a calming wellness app and hardware to aid in mental health needs, which is important in our current times of COVID-19 and beyond. They conducted thorough market analysis and research, cost analysis, and even built a working prototype. We were very encouraged by their spectacular pitch and presentation. From the Copper Group, congratulations to Team 461 Westside Boiler Invasion from West Lafayette, Indiana on their project Calming Utilitarian Box of Encouragement, or CUBE for short. Here is what the judges said about our second semifinalist. When social distancing has you at the break point because you cannot play your favorite sport, this team serves up a solution. Their innovation not only works in a pandemic, but has the potential to keep players on their toes and moving their feet. With a pitch and business model so strong, this team is clearly as comfortable in the tank and boardroom as they are on the court. Game, set, match for this team. From the Oxygen Group, congratulations to Team 4926 Galactech from Columbus, Indiana on their project serving the solo tennis player problem. Here is what the judges said about our final first innovation challenge semifinalist award winner. This team created a buzz with the judges on their innovative design for the active lifestyle. Their idea works to foster competition that all communities can enjoy together. With a unique accessible sports device, the deaf community can have a better advantage in team sports. From the Silicon Group, congratulations to Team 7454 Huskies on Hogs from Evansville, Indiana on their project, Sports Signal. I would now like to introduce Rachel Baker, who will be presenting the traditionally submitted awards. Thank you, Corey. My name is Rachel Baker. I am an alumna of Indiana First, and I'm so excited to have the opportunity to present this year's traditionally submitted awards. First Robotics Competition celebrates the excitement of competition both on and off the field. Through the following awards, we celebrate the first core values, which makes us so much hashtag more than robots. The first award that I am honored to present today is the Volunteer of the Year Award. The Volunteer of the Year Award is presented to an individual that consistently excels in their efforts with proven results in the area of impact, leadership, personal commitment, community, and historical contributions. Our 2021 Volunteer of the Year Award winner has been involved with FIRST across multiple programs as a student, mentor, and volunteer. The core values that they've learned through FIRST are clearly seen in the way that they lead, organize, and train their volunteers. In everything from volunteer recruiting, training, organizing, and scheduling, this individual's contributions have been essential for creating a strong and robust volunteer pipeline. This FIRST alumnus has brought their dedication to equity, diversity, and inclusion into their volunteer role 
helping to engage and include volunteers that reflect the diversity of the students on our Indiana teams. While their local impact is significant, they've also provided critical feedback and contributions that have shaped the structure of awards on a global scale. While they may be the youngest key volunteer ever in their specific role, they bring the most first experience to the table when compared to their peers. Their extensive experience ensured that the transition from in-person to virtual judging would be a painless experience for everyone involved. After planning a full season of in-person events, they then turned around and proceeded to plan a full season of remote judging. This individual is a role model for, foot, for first alumni everywhere, myself included, and her contribution to gracious professionalism would make Woody Flowers proud. Please join me in congratulating our Volunteer of the Year Award winner, Hannah May, Senior Judge Advisor. The District Championship Woody Flowers Awards celebrates effective communication in the art and science of engineering and design. This award is known as the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Being selected as a WFFA is a requirement to be eligible for the Championship Woody Flowers Award. To help present this award, I would now like to introduce Andy Baker and Chris Foltz to announce this year's Woody Flowers Finalist Award winner. Well, I'm Andy Baker, 2003 Championship Woody Flowers Award winner and mentor on Team 3940 CyberTube. And I am Chris Foltz, 2010 Championship Woody Flowers Award winner and a mentor on CyberBlue Team 234. Woody Flowers stated, creative activity is one of the few self-rewarding activities. Being creative is like being in love. The love of FRC Robotics has been deeply seated in so many people for so many years. This year, we saw that love and energy get creative with new competition challenges. Teams this year have adjusted their methods, changed their plans, and reached for different goals as we all adapted to the challenges that the world gave us. The safety net of change has been first mentors. Students have eloquently shared in their heartwarming Woody Flowers essays, evidence of how our first robotics competition mentors have continued to show their strength, dedication, and unwavering gracious support of our youth. Woody believed societies get the best of what they celebrate. The Woody Flowers Award celebrates our students by providing them a means to formally recognize their mentors with the WFFA nomination. Students have an opportunity to implement gracious professionalism through high quality work and emphasizing the value of others. Because it is the student's choice, it is so meaningful full to the mentors because the award elevates Woody's tradition of guiding us with clarity and integrity. It is meaningful to the whole first community. The Woody Flowers Award celebrates outstanding communication in the art and science of, the engineering, of engineering and design. It was created by Dr. William Murphy in 1996, seeking to recognize one mentor who, in the concisely communicated written words of students, demonstrates the leadership ethical behavior, and technical communication skills that were exemplified by Woody. At each region and district awards event, one mentor will receive the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Then one mentor will be selected from present finalists and renominated past finalists to receive the 2021 Championship Woody Flowers Award. Here in the Indiana District, you shared high praise for the accomplishments and dedication of your mentors and your teams. Based on your input, we now recognize the contribution of one mentor to the first experience. Experienced as an engineer and a project manager, this mentor provides the tools to empower students, mentors, and volunteers to achieve their full potential for the team and for FIRST. As a leader in the FIRST community, this mentor promotes diversity and inclusion at all levels of the organization to ensure continued growth of the program. She encourages and helps students to pursue their dreams, and is a role model for women in STEM. Please join us in congratulating the 2021 Indiana District Woody Flowers Finalist Award winner, Amy LaMata from Team 4926. Congratulations.
Congratulations, Amy. In an effort to recognize the leadership and dedication of FIRST's most outstanding secondary school students, the Cayman Family sponsors awards for select 10th or 11th grade students known as the FIRST Robotics Competition and the FIRST Tech Challenge FIRST Dean's List Award. The students who earn FIRST Dean's List status as either a semifinalist, finalist, or winner are great examples of current student leaders who have led their teams and communities to increased awareness for FIRST and its mission while achieving personal technical expertise and accomplishments. It is FIRST's goal that all Dean's List semifinalists, finalists, and winners will continue on post-award as great leaders of FIRST's ever-growing student alumni. Please join us in congratulating our two Dean's List Award finalists. First up, congratulations to Allison Skolnick from Team 7617 Roboblazers. Way to go, Allison. Next up, our second Dean's List finalist award winner is Jennifer Yang from Team 461 Westside Boiler Invasion. Congratulations. The Chairman's Award is the most prestigious award at first. It honors the team that best represents a model for other teams to emulate and best embodies the mission of FIRST. It was created to keep the central focus of FIRST Robotics Competition on the ultimate goal of transforming the culture in ways that will inspire greater levels of respect and honor for science and technology, as well as encouraging more of today's youth to become science and technology leaders. The judges were impressed by this team's special efforts of Olympic proportions to include everyone. Not even the pandemic was a barrier for this team as they developed their online engagement through curriculum and training. This rowdy team of invaders consistently lives out their values and inspires the first community and beyond by dismantling hurdles. Please join me in congratulating Team 461 Westside Boiler Invasion. Congratulations to all of our teams this year on another successful season. Now, we have reached the end of our award show. If you would like to view this recording, you'll be able to find it at the link up on the screen. Also, don't forget to follow along with all of the FIRST Indiana updates by following us on social media at FIRST IN Robotics. Additionally, be sure to tune in to the future official FIRST award show broadcast. The details for how to tune in are included on the screen. Last but not least, really wanted to thank everyone and congratulate not only all of our award winners, but also all of the teams that were able to compete and attempt challenges this year. As we all know, this year was unlike any other, but through your collective perseverance, tenacity, determination, and ingenuity, we were still able to make this season one to remember. We're really, really looking forward to the future with our teams that will be competing on the championship stage. And we're even more looking forward to seeing you all again next year, hopefully in person. Have a great summer. Thank you. As I do at the end of every season, I'd like to start by thanking the parents, the mentors, the teachers, the sponsors for helping give these kids this opportunity to have the hardest fun they'll ever have. I am aware each year of how much work it takes, how much grit it takes, but you always surpass our expectations. Congratulations to everybody, and let's celebrate the season we just finished, and I'll see you all next year when we make it even more exciting.